talked about shaping the slot. All right, guys, so we're just going to demonstrate what we did for the first pattern, guys. It was basically a starter step with an inside turn, which was what we did in our level two workshop, but going towards the audience, going seven, eight, one and a two, change the slot and a one, two, three and a four, back to close. Now guys, the important thing to remember about this is to refer the level two workshop video review. <laughs> All right, moving on. We then did an inside turn, gentlemen, and on this, we shaped the slot by taking the lady back behind us, demonstrating here, seven, eight, and a one, two, off the slot, tether her back, underarm pass, back to close, triple step. All right, any points for ladies? Uh, ladies, we talked about making sure you maintain your frame and having a lateral connection as you come through here, and that allows the guy to lead you coming through, through shaping that any part of the turn. Da, da, da. What we then did, guys, from here is that we did a tuck turn, guys, and we shaped the tuck turn into a 90 degree bend, going seven, eight, and a one, two, 90 degrees, tether her back, and one, two, three, and a four, five, and a six. All right now, there are two options for this, which Arnie's now going to go through. So we had a more angular option and a more circular option. We'll show you the circular first, coming through one. Two, three, and four. Searching for our partner as we come around tearing, making sure that we're pivoting around that central point in a circle on, on opposing sides of that circle. So guys, when we're walking around this, you imagine this pole here, Ding. and we should be able to move around this point and try and keep it, and there's a wall here, try and keep it in the middle as much as possible. So the other option we did was the more angular version, coming through one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Alright, hey guys remember the important thing for these patterns here is to remember that we're not actually teaching you a pattern, what we're trying to teach you is a concept. So once you create the tether gentleman, you know, try and move, try and work off this and build on it, and build something else, as opposed to just always coming out into an underarm turn back to close because that's what we taught you. We did talk about the generation of energy and using that as it builds, not worry, being worried so much about when you have to come through for the one, but once it builds enough, leading the one, and using that energy from your last pattern into the next set of moves. All right, we then went into one final pattern, which was a push break variation into a traveling tuck, going one, two, three, and a four, five, and a six, and a one, two, shape it up, three, and a four, through. And then you guys came up with your own options. All right, what can they do for the follows? Oh, great. Cool. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Sorry guys, push back first. Triple step. So ladies, we talked about coming through, bouncing off. In this position here, we, we again, we're relying on the lateral connection within this arm, and we're waiting for the guy really to lead us through on that second bit of the turn. So you really want to make sure that you're not preempting what he's leading, and that you're listening, both of you, for what's happening in the connection and where it can develop. Alright, leads, what you're really trying to do here is, you're trying to not let her settle on the six. All right, what usually happens when you do this pattern? Two, three, and a four, five, and a six. Once our follower has done that, all my options have been cut off. All right, so what we want to do, gentlemen, is that we want to pull her through into a turn. One, two, three, and a four, five, and a six, and bring her down the slot on six. My name is Eric. My name's Arnie. And that was level three, working the slot.